Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I don't have a schedule of when I upload. I just kind of upload whenever still. So today is going to be like a life month update, like however you want to say it. And I just wanted to say that um, it's not been going best. It's been going kind of like all over the place and my dog is squeaking her toy so I apologize and um, yeah I mean it's just been hectic and busy and full of doctor's appointments and full of interviews with like my rape crisis like counselor lady and the counselor that I'm seeing as well and then I've been working full-time and dealing with my health I mean it's not been the easiest that's for sure I have to say that this past month has been really like up and down I guess like I have my good days and I have my bad days and I promised myself I wouldn't get emotional. Okay, pull it together. Gotta pull it together. I can do this. <sighs> okay. So, let's start off with positives. Positive, I got a new car. I got a BMW. And it's a cute little SUV and I really like it. And then... <laughs> I got lip fillers, so don't mind the bad makeup. It's literally been on in like 95 plus degree heat today, all day. But yeah, there's still a bruise. I got them on Friday and today is now Monday. So yeah. Um, also, um, I finally finished my car accident lawsuit that's been going on for three years now and that is why I decided to buy a new car <laughs> so and my transmission went out on my Camaro so whoopsies um oh my gosh my arms look really fat yeah so <laughs> Um, I don't even know where I was going with this. Um, so I guess positives would be those and then working and just trying to pull this together. Um, the bad news is I failed two classes. Um, like the rape happened at the beginning of finals week and I wasn't able to really study or like focus on what needed to be done in order to pass those classes and it was really challenging and then it just like it was hard and I came out of shock in the middle of finals week and yeah, that was so while dealing with that, I was dealing with work, health. I went into anaphylaxis again. How to give myself epi. That was a joy. And um I've been getting a lot of blocked calls. I've also been getting like on my Facebook modeling page on Facebook, like I can tell like how many views I get, like a minute per day, stuff like that. So I've been getting a bunch of those recently, which I haven't even posted on in months. So I shouldn't be getting any kind of new views or anything because I haven't even promoted it or anything. Um, blocked calls, 
spoof numbers with guys breathing heavy on the other end. I so happened to check because when this happened with the rape, like the guy was Facebook friends with me and then that same night he deleted his Facebook. So I wasn't able to block him or anything like that. My mom had my phone that same night that that happened. So she was checking my phone to see if he would contact me and stuff like that. And so about a week ago, I go to check because the guy deleted his Facebook. So obviously when he reactivated, I wanted to quickly like delete and block him so he couldn't get a hold of my pictures or anything like that because you know when you delete your Facebook and you reactivate it you're still friends with whoever you started off with and so um last week I went to go check like because I'm checking several times a day to see like if he reactivated it and then that way I could catch him and block him before and I just so happened to look and his name is actually like changed to my name so like what the hell <laughs> is going on with that like what the hell like that's not okay i don't know when he did that it had to have been between the times of like 2 30 a.m to like 8 a.m because i went to sleep that night around 2 30 and then i was booked back up at 8 and um oh, jesus and so i freaked out went into a full-blown like panic attack thinking like oh my god like what pictures did he take of me what pictures did he take like of my family <sighs> just talking about this is like so emotional and so like, I freaked the fuck out, and I literally, like, I was checking constantly at that point. Like, literally, like, every 20 minutes checking to see if he reactivated it. That way I could block him, and I screenshotted everything and sent it over to the police. <sighs> and so... To have someone that is like literally so obsessed with you, like sock your whole family, your whole life to be harassing you like this is not okay. And like I said in the previous video, I was told that if I did a restraining order, it would knock this case out and like they wouldn't be able to talk to us anymore like they wouldn't be able to do any kind of controlled calls or texts or anything like that <sighs> and it's just hard and like i'm just sitting here like scared to even leave my house because the guy knows like my car and he knows where to go to school and I'm just like, like people just don't understand, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And it's hard to try and explain like your, your fear and your anxiety to someone who hasn't been through it or, you know, is a guy friend and obviously he didn't go through it and for to have someone just be so obsessive over you and to like just stalk you and harass you and just non-stop like he won't stop and it's scary and like i just pray that in the next few weeks that my DNA and his DNA come back along with the toxicology reports that way I 
way he gets arrested and I don't have to deal with it anymore. And I'm sorry, I can't even like look at the camera right now. like all the stress and everything that happened keeps replaying over and over and over and over in my head is physically causing my other illnesses to flare up so point like I even asked my doctor to give me a wheelchair because going to stores and just getting out of house is causing me like so so much like panic and then it's flaring up the the pots so then i'm wanting to like pass out and feel really dizzy and like headed every time i stand up the heat's not making it worse or not making it any better and it's like 95 something like almost every day um here in florida and it just it it's too much like when I'm walking through the store, it's just taking every bit of energy that I have left. And I literally will not get it back up off the couch for like hours. Because one, obviously the pain from my back from the car accidents and then, and then like the heart rate issue and feeling lightheaded and dizzy and it's too much. And like, like I don't, want to be like a vegetable <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say like and I feel like a vegetable and I feel like um I just feel like um I don't even know how to describe it but it's like Like, I want to go out and do stuff and, like, try and forget about it and keep my mind off it. And, like, everyone else is so busy with their own lives. And I just feel like I'm slipping back into, like, depression and everything else like that. And it's hard. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, I'm just dealing with all this. And then school, I have to fill out forms signed by my doctor to get my F's lifted. Um, so I still get financial aid and it doesn't look bad on my GPA. <laughs> and I am so close to graduating. Like, it's not even funny. Like I literally have a semester and a quarter left. Like that's it. Otherwise I would have just dropped out to be honest because the stress of working the chronic illnesses and this is just too much it's too much for one person to handle and like i'm just making these videos and these posts on instagram to hopefully help someone i just don't know if it's helping anyone like i just don't know like I just almost have no words for any of it, you know? And I'm sorry, this is turned into like a 20 plus minute video again. <laughs> that was not my intention, but I wanted to update you guys on my life and what's been going on and the positives and the negatives that's been going on is here on my channel and my Instagram. <laughs> um, I hold nothing back and I'm not afraid to show my my worst times in life and I'm just not afraid to really show you guys who I am and what I'm going through because it's not fun it's it's not cool I'm not living a luxury life because you know, I have these illnesses and I'm going through this and just because I have nice cars and nice things doesn't mean like I don't work hard for them. Even when I'm struggling the hardest. And I really just want to show you guys like it will be okay. 
even if it's not okay now. And I'm sorry, I'm petting my dog. <laughs> and it will be okay. And I'm sorry. Literally, I can't look at the camera. I can't look at myself cry. I um. I want to be able to look back several years from now and say, look at what I've overcome. Look at all the strengths I've I put into myself. Just in case of things do get worse, I want to look back and say, well, I had it kind of easy back then. Even though it, it doesn't seem like it is now. And I want to be able to share my my childhood and my teenage years and my 20s with my kids and show them like look at what mom did look at what mommy went through and like try and teach them life lessons from that or whenever I decide to have a nice boyfriend and you know have kids and get married and all the other stuff that I'm being left out on <laughs> Like, literally almost all my friends have kids by now and are married. Like, that's pathetic. It's pathetic of me not to find someone decent who treats me well and have the same goals as me. It's just, I don't know. And, like, I'm lonely and I just, it's time that some, someone in my life came and made me happy because every guy that's came into my life has broken my heart and refused to be treated shitty so you know that's probably why too I don't have a boyfriend because I refuse to settle for less so you know So anyways, um, I'm going to go take off my makeup and edit this video and have it up for you guys. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's just my first and my last name put together on Instagram. And I post daily and I always post stories and polls and quizzes for you guys. So feel free to follow me there. And if you're confused. <laughs> It'll be in the description. Um, subscribe if you want to. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers, but I mean, whatever. It really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, as long as the.